2025 board paper of physics is just in my hand. Now we come to section B which is also of 40 marks but here we will have from question 4 to question 9 which means there are total 6 questions from which you will have to choose 4 questions for which you will get your maximum marks. When we get the paper in hand, you need to therefore look at section B first and select which are the questions which will be giving you maximum marks in section B. I have already uploaded the solutions of question 1 and question 2 and 3. So those links you will see somewhere here. You watch them first before you come to question number 4 solution. Let's come to question 4 if you have attempted question 4. Look at the diagram here. Out of 3 rays I, J, H showed in the diagram, which ray will suffer total internal reflection when inside the prism? Critical angle for the prism is 42 degrees. Now J, J is perpendicular to this surface. So it will go undeviated. This is 60. This will be 30. It is going from denser to rarer. So this is 60. Then this will be 60 degrees over here. This will be 30 degrees. So this will be 60 degrees here. The arrow should be here. And then you will draw the normal. This angle over here is 30 degrees which is less than 42 degrees. So this ray will not undergo total internal reflection. Instead, it will go away from the normal and this is going to be greater than 30 degrees, this angle of refraction. So this would be the question B answered. Copy the diagram and complete the path of the ray which you have named in A till it comes out of the prism. So your A answer is J. Let us check whether your I and H also have the same path. Your I is perpendicular to this surface. This is 30 degrees. So this will be 60 degrees over here. If you draw the normal, then this angle is going to be 30 degrees, which is less than 42 degrees. And so this will go this way. So there will be no total internal reflection. Let us look at H. H will again go undeviated. This is 30 degrees. So this becomes 60 degrees. When you draw the normal, this angle over here, this becomes 30 degrees, which is again less than 42 degrees. So this also is going to go away from the normal and it will be refracted. So the correct one is the path of J which you can write in B and that will give you a three full marks. Question 4, second part. Rectangular glass block of refractive index 1.5 has an air bubble trapped inside it as shown in the diagram. When seen from surface AB, from here if it is seen, it appears to be 4 cm deep. So let us say the apparent position is from here to here and this is apparent depth which is 4 centimeters. They are asking us the actual depth of the air bubble that means from here to here. This is the real depth of the bubble. We are going to use the formula mu is equal to real depth upon apparent depth. Mu is 1.5 equal to real depth I'll call as x. Apparent depth is 4 cm. So your x which is the real depth, the actual depth is 15 into 4 is 6 cm and that becomes the actual depth of the air bubble and that is your answer E. So real depth is 6 cm from AB. For which color blue or yellow, the apparent depth will be greater. Now for B part, remember the wavelength for blue is less than wavelength for yellow. So the shift 
is inversely proportional to the wavelength which means the shift for blue because its wavelength is less is going to be greater than the shift for yellow now the shift means this shift right so the one which has got greater shift will be having less apparent depth let us say the blue colored object is here and the yellow colored object is here the shift for the blue color is going to be more because its wavelength is less so b will be shifted here and yellow will be shifted here now blue will be closer so apparent depth for blue and this is the apparent depth for yellow which one has more apparent depth yellow because it has got more wavelength its shift will be less and apparent depth will be more c part turning the block upside down does not change the apparent depth of the bubble state true or false now even if we have to only mention true or false we'll have to have some working done here so let us say we made the block upside down because ab is here and cd is here and the air bubble is here the air bubble is from the surface ab 6 cm so from here to here is 6 cm so from here to here it is going to be 9 cm so your real depth of the bubble in this case is 9 cm and if we use the formula mu is real depth upon apparent depth 1.5 will be equal to 9 upon x so x is going to be equal to 9 upon 1.5 which is 6 cm so the bubble from here is going to be 6 cm from the surface now if this is 6 cm from the surface what was our earlier apparent depth the earlier apparent depth was 4 cm but now it is 6 cm so you will say that the apparent depth 2 is 6 cm but but apparent depth 1 was 4 cm so does the apparent depth change yes so when they say does not change what you will say it is false so that is your that is your answer c let us look at question 4 the third sub part a an object is placed at 2f position of the convex lens draw the ray diagram showing the formation of the image now remember the image also will be at 2f it will be a real it will be inverted and it will be same size this ray diagram all of you should be able to draw it's a very simple diagram that would give you your two marks how will the size of the image change if we only replace the lens in the above arrangement with another lens of greater focal length this part is where we need to think a little bit if lens has greater focal length then the position of object is going to become between f and 2f let us understand this better let us say this is your lens this is your f1 this is your 2f1 this is f2 this is your 2f2 the object is placed here the image will be same size over here now we replace it with another lens so blue lens it has got greater focal length so let us say i have increased the focal length this way okay so this is my f1 and this is my 2f1 so here 
I will have this is my F2 and this is my 2F2. So the object remaining the same, the object is placed between F and 2F. So the position of the object becomes between 2F1 and F1. And so what happens to the size of the image? Therefore, the image becomes, what is the characteristic? It will become magnified. It will still be real and inverted. So the size is greater. So it becomes magnified. Therefore, image size increases. Underline this underline this so that should give you your two marks so you will need to write all this in order to reason it out that ends our question number four and now we come to question number five question five the first part an object is placed in front of a concave lens at a distance of 45 centimeters from it if the image is formed at a distance of 30 centimeters from the lens Calculate the focal length of the lens. This is a direct question. You are told that it is a concave lens. This is the object distance. An image is formed 30 centimeters from the lens. It is going to be in front of the lens only because it is a concave lens. So our solution will be like so. Yeah, so this is the solution here. So we use the formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u and substitute the value of u and v as minus 45 and minus 30 like so. This minus it to minus will become plus. LCM will be 90 and here 33 is 90 so minus 3 here and 45 2 is 90 so 2 here. So minus 3 plus 2 will give us in the numerator minus 1 upon 90 and so the reciprocal of that will give us the focal length which is minus 90 centimeter. So we write the focal length of the concave lens is 90 centimeter. Let us look at question 5 second part. PQ and RS they are incident on rectangular glass block as shown in the diagram. Observe the diagram and answer the following questions. Which of the two rays PQ and RS will have greater lateral displacement on emerging out of the block. For that, we will have to first see the original direction of PQ. We will have to show this in the diagram and also the original direction here. This is going to be the lateral displacement will have this PQ. Both of them are incident at 35 degrees. Okay. Now here it is going to emerge parallel to this and this one is going to emerge parallel to the earlier direction which means for PQ the lateral displacement is this much and for RS is this much. So what is our answer A? The greater lateral displacement will be for RS. Okay, we come to B. Which one will travel with greater speed inside the block? Now remember, it is connected with your formula mu equal to c upon v, which means your mu is inversely proportional to the velocity in the medium. Now we know that lateral displacement is inversely proportional to the wavelength and we know that refractive index is also inversely proportional to the wavelength. If we combine the two, you will see that lateral displacement is directly proportional to mu. So you can say that lateral displacement and velocity, they are also inversely proportional. They are saying which one will have the greater speed. So the lateral displacement less, then the velocity will be more. So the greater speed is where the lateral displacement is less. So that is your PQ. So for B answer, therefore, PQ 
has greater speed in the block. We come to the C part. Which one will scatter more in the atmosphere? For C part, intensity of scattering is inversely proportional to the wavelength to the power 4. They are saying which one is scattering more. So more scattering means less wavelength. Less wavelength and the lateral displacement is this wavelength directly or inversely proportional to the lateral displacement inversely proportional so if the wavelength is less then the lateral displacement will have to be more so you can see intensity more wavelength less wavelength less then lateral displacement more and in this case, your answer will be Rs, will be scattered more. There's quite a bit of thinking involved in this. Question 5, the third subpart. Name the radiation for which a quartz prism is used to study the spectrum. Now, quartz prism is for ultraviolet spectrum. The radiation which are used in remote sensing devices is infrared. I am writing IR, you have to write the full form, which are used in traffic signals in India. In India, are we using infrared? No, in the walls. So it is going to be visible. In your B, name one property common to all electromagnetic radiations. Here you can write any one of them. The most common I think you could mention is that they all travel with the same speed in vacuum that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. There are other properties also. You could use any one of them. So this finishes our question number 5. Now question 4 and 5 will be in this video. And in the next video, I will go for questions 6 and 7. So as of now, I am stopping the video here. If you have not watched the other videos, please watch them before you can come to this. Okay.